Hello everyone, Sharif Madawar here, and uh, this is April 1st, 2020. So I'm getting a lot of emails, people asking me, what should we do with the rent? We have residential rentals that uh, people are asking uh, for rent abatement, that means rent uh, discount. We have commercial renters that are asking to uh, pay later or uh, reduce their rents. Um, well, let me explain a couple of things. First of all, regarding residential rentals. Uh, residential rentals you must be able to collect if you can't collect as much as you can up front and the rest over a couple more months or maybe take it from the deposit work with them uh, even try to get uh, the rent on uh, credit cards uh, because um, uh, you cannot survive if you have an apartment building with the renters not paying you because how are you going to make your mortgage payments even if the bank deferring couple payments for you you will still be uh, obligated to pay the the actual mortgage payment with the interest, you still have to have the taxes and insurance. But do it in a comforting way, do it by comforting people. Um, meaning, don't fight the people, just explain to them, listen, we understand you have a situation right now, we're all going through the same thing, how much can you pay me? Can you pay me 50% now and the rest later? And maybe over a couple months. If people know they have to pay, they're gonna test you, they're gonna ask you, so try to work with them and be reasonable. Now, that comes to commercial real estate. If you have big national tenants with corporate guarantees, they may ask you to skip one month, but then they're going to make it up right down the road. But smaller commercial tenants may ask you to reduce the rent going forward, and you can do that, and you shouldn't do that. Just ask them to pay you at least 50% now, and the other 50% either on credit card or over maybe two to four to six months payments. Write an addendum, make sure it is in writing, so you're able to solidify your deals. Just be reasonable with them and listen to their situation. Remember that these small companies that are renting from you, from you, the commercial tenants can apply for loans from the government. There are loans that are uh, SBA loans. Some even will be forgiven loans like grants. So talk to them, suggest all this to them. Um, and when I say take credit cards, you have to understand you can actually set up a, a PayPal account. You can go on PayPal, set up an account, and when you set it up, you can invoice people. So when they pay you, it's gonna cost you 2.6 or 3% on whatever they paid. I suggest for you to waive that fee, just get paid the rent. Um, having landlords saying to me, I don't know, maybe I should not collect any rent for a month or two, you're gonna get killed. Because as you see, people couldn't last 30 days with the, without the regular paycheck or without the regular economy working. And we are the wealthiest country in the world. So there is a problem. The problem will get bigger in the next couple of months. So make sure you do things in the short term the right way. Maintain your credit, maintain your ability to keep the relationships with your tenants, with your clients, with your employees, and with the banks. Uh, try to talk to the banks to find out what's going on now in terms of uh, lending. Interest rate went down, but are they lending? Do they know what they want? What terms do they have? Stay close to them, talk to the brokers, talk to the lenders directly, and figure that out. And um, as I always say, keep cash reserves. If you're gonna do some deals right now, make sure you buy time before purchasing, do it an option, take time to close your deal, do maybe a lease with an option. Uh, if you're gonna sell anything, be creative, see if you can carry some financing, see if you can work some terms with the buyer so you can encourage them and be clear with people, explain to them, you understand that they're, they're afraid, they're confused. The good news is, you know, I do a lot of business in Old San Juan, Puerto Rico, where we have cruise ships, have commercial buildings, residential buildings, office buildings, hotels. And the good news is um, Disney is already announcing coming on April 28th. We have cruises on May 4th, May 8th, May 10th, Carnival, Princess, etc. So a lot of cruises are starting to come. Uh, uh, Branson, uh, Richard Branson announced that Virgin Voyager, his new cruise line is starting in July. Uh, after they were so afraid to launch uh, because of the coronavirus, they announced it's gonna be July. So we predict with all the money they're printing and all the brouhaha happening in the market and all the sadness and confusion, we predict that by the end of May, things should start stabilizing. June will be better, July will be better, and hopefully we'll recover within less than six months. Thank you so much, stay safe, and uh, may the best happen to you and your family. Much appreciated.